For people living with Alzheimer's disease, maintaining the same level of independence prior to diagnosis can be difficult. The University of Auckland is using cross-discipline collaboration in their research to improve patients' lives and increase the chances of finding a cure by better understanding the brain and brain disease. Oh, I really like that. I shall dance too. Artificial intelligence is just one way the University of Auckland is demonstrating its multifaceted approach to improving the lives of those living with Alzheimer's and finding a cure for the disease. Its Centre for Brain Research was established over a decade ago and hundreds of its specialists in neuroscience are working hard to understand the physiology and function of the brain. You want to try and change those processes which make it, which cause disease, try and stop them or slow them down. And teamwork is the most effective way to do this. Basically, it's a big organisation, it's a bit like the United Nations of Brain Research. Critical to the success of the centre is generating findings that can guide New Zealand's healthcare policy. It's estimated that one in five New Zealanders will suffer from brain disease in their lifetime. Diagnosis often comes too late. So we need to get in with any treatment, any way to slow the disease down. We need to get in early to stop the disease progressing. You can't replace the brain cells now, but early on, right in the very earliest stages of the disease, if we could slow the brain pathology down, the cell loss down, then we would be a winner. Then we would be able to help people. Slowing a disease down can be as good as almost as, as curing the disease. Researchers want to find how brain cells begin to die. Professor Morris Curtis and his team are working closely with ear, nose and throat specialists since one of the early signs of dementia is loss of smell. So this shows the relationship of the olfactory system to the brain and uh, you can see the very close proximity of where air would come in through the nose and gets detected by the olfactory bulb that sits about here and then the rest of the brain does the processing for the sense of smell. The research is showing us that indeed there are lots of the amyloid plaques and tau tangles that cause Alzheimer's disease that show up very early on in the olfactory bulb and we're interested in knowing how they then spread uh, and we've been doing work to see how they spread from the olfactory system back into other parts of the brain where they cause uh, the main effects of the disease. Your aura. My name is Irobi. I am your healthcare robot. It's nice to meet you. The university's interdisciplinary approach has taken it out of the laboratory and into people's homes through assisted technology that can help the elderly, especially those with brain disease. I was very sceptical when I came into this collaboration with the engineers that it would work, but I've just seen how the robot turns and looks at you. It says uh, spontaneously, good morning, spontaneously, would you like to do some exercises now? And we think it's going to be a good mode of health promotion for older people. Uh, look, I think that paracetamol is not quite right. Okay. Can we fix it over here, perhaps, here? Yeah. The robot is personalised using a website where the family and whānau and where the health providers can log in to set the number of exercise pattern into the right dates for the appointments, even work towards reminding about lunch and what's for lunch on a particular day. By the way, George, I don't recall whether you took your breakfast time medications today. Did you manage to take them yourself? Yes, I did. I'm pleased to hear that. I think it could be really useful um, in saving people from like, like falling over and, and forgetting things, which one does rather a lot. It's very appealing. I think I might take one home with me. We're developing the robot specifically for people with dementia to give more companionship, to give more uh, stimulation, that uh, it may be quite a good match to get people exercising more, more interactions, more contact. It's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs>